Hi, Peter from Callouts here. Today I'm going to talk about Camtasia 2021 that was just released and the new editing features, editing and motion graphics particularly. And it's a real pleasure to talk about this because in Camtasia 2020 and 2021 we have seen a lot of new features being added and in 2021 I believe a focus has been on the editing process. So, and that's a subject that is close to my heart. So this is, is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Okay, so let's dive in and check it out. So here we are in Camtasia 2021 and we have a couple of other features besides the editing and motion graphic features. We have a new startup screen, we have a new recorder that was a little bit simplified than the previous recorder and it's not yet finished so I suggest you keep a copy of uh, an older version of Camtasia, Camtasia 2020 or so when you're working to use the older recorder. You can access the older rec recorder in 2021 too but it's easier to just go through the Camtasia 2020 recorder. Uh, so you have some simple things, you can resize the track header here on the left hand side to better see the name of your tracks if you edit the names. Uh, you can only edit it this far or change the dimensions this much, so it's not a huge difference. You have a default placeholder. Uh, Timing, if you go to edit, now it's outside screen here, but edit preferences, timing, the uh, placeholder, you can now set the, so if you add a placeholder here, it's going to be in that default time. Uh, you have now standalone projects, which makes it uh, possible to save as a standalone project when you save out and you will get all the files in one folder uh, for easier sharing. And then we have a couple of audio features uh, which I can cover a little bit because it's really connected to editing as well. Okay, so let's check out all the new editing and motion graphics features. First up, we have more than 75 new transitions that have been added and they're wonderful. Lots of great new stuff. With the risk of overdoing it, because it's so much fun, I'll sprinkle a bunch of my new favorites throughout this presentation. It's also worth mentioning that there is a very useful option for transition. Not only can you use it to spice up in between your cuts, but you, you can also use it to quickly animate assets. It works on basically everything. Just drag and drop a transition on a text or an image for all sorts of cool effects. And don't forget the new feature from version 2020, the reverse the transition, which kind of doubles the amount of transitions you have at your fingertips. And lastly, a new functionality to temporarily disable transitions has also been added. Track mats was introduced in Camtasia 2020, but some users found it difficult to use, so in 2021 a new effect has been added that makes it a lot easier. Just open the visual effects and locate media matte effect, then drag it to the layer you want to use as a mask. This can be animated, used on text and all the other good stuff as usual. You're also able to see layers placed under the mask layer. We also got a cute new effect called corner rounding. Just drag it to the layer and adjust the radius and which corner that should be rounded off. And if you want to see how it looked without the applied effects, just use the new toggle effect on and off button and you can see how it looked before and after you apply something. Custom colors is an old and missed functionality. Now it's back again. You will find it under the color picker and it's easy to just add and delete colors from your favorites. A new add exported frame button has also been added which instantly takes a snapshot of your canvas and saves it in the media bin. Super helpful. Did 
Did you ever get frustrated trying to access and edit tracks placed under other tracks? Now you got a great new feature called Solo Track. Just set a track to Solo Track and you can directly edit without trying to lock or hide layers above. Another helpful improvement is the scrubbing of video files in the media bin. Just place the cursor above a video in the bin and move it left and right to see a video preview. The motion blur effect is finally here. When working with graphics in motion, motion blur helps make animations look more realistic, imitating our eyes. And now you can use that effect in your Camtasia animations. It's very easy to use. Just pick up the effect in the visual effects and drag it to any moving layer. You can then edit the intensity of the motion blur in the properties. Usually leaving it at 100% will be just fine. I did a lot of tests and I could not see any difference in motion blur from around 30 to 200% at any speed. But you can decrease the motion blur slightly between 1 and 30%. The shorter you make the animation, the more motion blur you will see. Also note that motion blur only affects assets that move across the screen, but you will not be able to add motion blur to a pre-rendered video and see motion blur effects in it. I'll illustrate it with this little video. As you can see, nothing changes with or without motion blur in the video, but when you add a movement to the file itself on the canvas, that is affected by the motion blur. Proxy video, another great feature. When you work on larger files, longer videos or 4K videos for example, there is a lot for Camtasia to keep track of and previews etc can become very sluggish. That's when proxy videos become useful. When using proxy videos, Camtasia creates a lower resolution copy of your original video. And when you render out your video, it will use the full quality for your render. So by using proxy videos, you get 100% of the quality with faster editing. I have run this through some heavy testing for clients with 15 GB video files and it worked perfectly well. To create proxy videos, go to the media bin, right click on the file you want to create the proxy for and choose create proxy video. A green line will appear to show you that the creation is in progress. And once it's done, a yellow dot will indicate that you're working on, on a proxy. After you're done, be sure to delete your proxy files unless you need them for another project as they will be saved on your hard drive. Believe it or not, we still have some of the great new features still to go over, so please stay tuned. And if you liked this video and would like to see more tutorials and videos about our Camtasia assets on callouts, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or anything like that, please comment below. This is new for the PC version and can be a little bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, I think you'll appreciate it. Instead of opening the group on your regular timeline, a new tab is open with the contents of your group. This makes it easier to edit and clearer to see. Just click the group, the plus sign, and the group opens up in a new tab. You can now edit the group contents individually. The small downside is that if you want to copy new elements into the group, you have to jump between the timeline and the group using copy and paste. You cannot drag items into the group or onto the group tab. To edit the duration of the group, you also have to go to the timeline. And while we're working on groups, let's take a look at the fantastic new addition of editable quick properties. I have a small group created here or rather two layers two tracks one text and one shape background so if i now in 2021 create a group out of these two Control g or group i have the group here now i automatically get quick properties here i get the text where i can edit the text directly and I get the call out, the background here, where I can edit the color. And when I save this group to the library, these quick properties will also come with. So the next time I drag that out, I will have these editable directly. 
and I can also do further adjustment in the edit quick properties editor here so when I click that I can change the order I can for example choose not to be able to edit the call out in the future if I now save it in this position and I go into it again only the text will appear. I can no longer edit the color etc on the background. I can of course go into the group and still edit it the old-fashioned way. There I have the, 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 the background color. But uh, where did we go? But if I'm here out here on the main timeline Let's bring this one back. I click the plus sign. I want to have the text above. You can also edit the little tags for them. Enter text. And there you have enter text now, rectangle and call out. So that's a very quick way to, to have your own quick properties set up for your library assets in the future. And this is just great for recreating reusable content for yourself or your organization. And we in Callouts uh, use this extensively now in creating templates for Camtasia for our customers and clients because this just simplifies and speeds up the usage of templates. So that's that. Lotti files are small graphics and animation files. Camtasia can now accept importing these just by dragging and dropping them onto your timeline. They are transparent and you can speed up, animate them, etc. There are several sources online where you can find free Lotti files and I'll share them in the description. The advantage of Lotti files compared with video animation and GIF files for example are that they are incredibly lightweight. Please note that most of the files I found are free under an attribution license which means that you have to mention the source. Previously you could zoom in and out of the canvas using the scrolling wheel and the canvas would stay centered. Now the zooming depend on where your cursor is located. You will zoom towards the cursor's location. The jury is still out on whether this is good or bad addition and it definitely takes a bit of getting used to. You can judge for yourself if you like it or not. If you end up with the canvas in a position you don't want, just hold down the space key to access the panning feature and drag the canvas into the position you want to have it. And the last edition, which has already been released on Mac and should hopefully be released for the PC version shortly, is 3D LUT support. 3D LUTs or lookup tables are used to color correct and color grade footage. So for example, if you have multiple cameras, you can use this to make the final video look the same. You can also use LUTs for artistic coloring of your videos, etc. Sort of like an Instagram filter. Here are some examples of what you can do with LUTs. Yet another great feature we're looking forward to. I also wanted to cover the new audio features in Camtasia 2021, but to keep this video at a reasonable length, I will have to make that in another video. Uh, there are also a few exciting Mac features that has been released. Automatic animation uh, is one that looks very promising that we can just hope will get will come to the PC uh, in this version in an upgrade. And that's pretty much all I have for today about the new Camtasia 2021. I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you like it and want to see more, please subscribe, like it. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Okay, see you soon. Thanks for watching.